Is technology turning our kids into screen-addicted zombies? More and more parents say their kids are stuck to their iPads, endlessly scrolling, watching videos, and acting out when it's taken away. It's time to talk about how this brain rot is taking over a whole generation and the scary truth behind shows like Coca Melon. It's no secret that more kids than ever are glued to screens. Everywhere you look, toddlers are handed iPads or tablets, and suddenly, it's quiet. It seems like a quick fix to keep them entertained, but there's a big problem. These screens are messing with their minds. Kids as young as two or three are being given these devices, and what do they do? They open apps like TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, and they're stuck, doom scrolling for hours. Dot. But what happens when you try to take the iPad away? iPad kids getting out of control. Parents report that their kids start crying, screaming, even throwing things. They can't handle it. This isn't just about screen time anymore. It's about how these screens are changing their brains. They're overstimulated, constantly fed new images, sounds, and bright colors. And that's making it really hard for them to focus on anything else. Kids today spend hours on their iPads every single day, and it's having a real effect on their attention spans. When they're constantly jumping from video to video, they lose the ability to concentrate on one thing. Their problem-solving skills are getting worse because they're used to being entertained every second. They're not learning how to figure things out or be creative on their own. That's not the worst part. Many kids are watching content that isn't even appropriate for their age. Some YouTube channels make videos that seem like they're for kids, but they're sneaky. They use cartoons, Minecraft characters, and even famous children's shows. But they add in things that are sexual or way too mature. Kids don't know any better, they just keep watching. And it starts to affect how they see the world. One show that has parents really worried is Coca Milan. It looks harmless, right? Cute characters, catchy songs, but the way it's made is like candy for the brain. Parents say that when their kids watch Coca Milan, they turn into zombies. They sit there, eyes glued to the screen, and they don't hear or see anything else. Here's why. Coca Melon is super fast paced. Scenes change every one to two seconds, and there are always bright colors flashing. There are subtitles in every video, even though the kids watching can't read yet. All this action keeps their brains hooked, and it's teaching them to need constant stimulation. When they're used to this kind of speed, real life feels boring, and that's a huge problem. My kid can't even sit still anymore. If Coca Melon isn't on, he's restless, bored, or throwing a fit. It's like he's addicted. And it gets even more troubling. Some parents say Coca Melon might actually be stopping kids from learning how to talk. Instead of using their own words, kids just sit and watch, soaking in the bright colors and sounds. They don't have to think, and they don't practice talking or interacting. Kids learn to talk by listening, playing, and trying things out for themselves. When they're sitting in front of a screen, especially something as fast paced as Coca Melon, they're not getting that chance. Their brains aren't working the way they should. And here's something you might not know. Coca Melon actually studies how kids react. They use real kids to see which parts of the show grab their attention and which parts are boring. Then, they make the show even more addictive, changing things to make sure kids can't look away. It's like they're trying to keep kids hooked for as long as possible. So what can we do about it? It's not realistic to take screens away completely, but we need to be careful. Instead of using screens as a babysitter, parents can set limits on screen time, encourage kids to play outside, read books, or even just use their imagination. They need to learn how to be bored sometimes. That's how they develop creativity and problem-solving skills. Our kids deserve a chance to grow up healthy and strong with real-life skills and real-life connections. It's time to take back control and make sure they aren't lost to the screen. The first step? Turn off the iPad and let them be kids again.